द बेसिक मोस्ट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फ्रेश सिंड्रोम इट इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट फ्रेश सिंड्रोम फ्रेश सिंड्रोम इज ऑल अबाउट फॉल्टी रीजनरेशन सो फॉल्टी रीजनरेशन ऑफ फाइबर्स एंड वेयर दीज फाइबर्स रीजनरेट इन बिटवीन पोस्ट सैनेप्टिक फाइबर्स फ्रॉम द ओटिक गैंगलियन विद द सिंपेथेटिक गैंगलियॉन्स विद द सिंपेथेटिक फाइबर्स of this uh, cervical ganglion so this is what is happening let us try to summarize it let us try to see it in a very uh, you can say uh, comprehensive uh, way when we talk about fray syndrome it is let us see the faulty regeneration we'll see every level we'll see the basic most level nothing so faulty regeneration of fibers between damaged damaged skin fibers damaged skin fibers and what are these damaged skin fibers these are the sympathetic fibers sympathetic fibers of cervical ganglion cervical ganglion so these are the sympathetic fibers of the cervical ganglion so we can understand damaged skin fibers with the damaged fibers of auriculo temporal nerve so with the auriculo temporal nerve so with the damaged auriculo temporal nerve and what is this damaged auriculo temporal nerve actually this is nothing but post synaptic fibers of otic ganglia so damaged auriculo temporal nerve do you know that it is considered an inevitable complication of parotidectomy so this is fray syndrome is considered as inevitable complication of parotidectomy and this is really very 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 important to understand so faulty regeneration what happens try to understand i'm going to draw very basic diagram very basic diagram this is a damaged auriculotemporal nerve you should know that this is nothing but the post synaptic fibers of the otic ganglia and then you have these important small fibers what happens when you have done a parotidectomy you have raised the skin flap when you have elevated the skin flap the skin fibers have damaged so what are these these are nothing but damaged skin fibers and these damaged skin fibers all the important all the small small vessels nerves that came in your path you just transected them so these are nothing but the damaged skin fibers and these damaged skin fibers are actually actually going to get regenerated by these pseudo synapses so in between them in between them there is formation of pseudo synapses so what is fray syndrome fray syndrome is nothing but this is a damaged auricular temporal nerve this is damaged auricular temporal nerve and these are the damaged skin fibers and the thing that we are seeing in between is a pseudo synapse so these are pseudo synapses developing in between the skin fibers and the auricular temporal nerve and that is the reason why the sensation of you can say whenever you have a sight of food yes smell the sensation is taken to the you can say the inferior salivary nucleus superior salivary nucleus if you see that pathway yes sense if you see whenever there is there is a sight or a smell of food yes so there is a sight or a smell of food so whenever there is food yeah so either there is sight or there is smell what happens the sensation is relayed to the salivatory uh, you can say nucleus